Hi, this is Michael, and this is my review of the Utilitech UT7341 wireless doorbell. Uh, this unit is desirable to me because the bell part works on AC power, so you don't have to worry about replacing batteries in this. The only battery that you will have to cha uh, change occasionally is the CR2032 cell that is on the button. And this particular model only has two chimes. It either does a ding-dong or just a ding. Or is it a dong? I think it's a ding. Uh, and you also get two mounting screws and a piece of double-sided sticky tape for attaching the doorbell to the outside. So if you want to use the sticky tape, you would just stick it here and apply it to the uh, wood framing around your door. Or if you wanted to use the screws, you would take the cover off and then screw it in through the back. Now when you first get this you'll notice there's this tab here you just have to open up this uh, cover and you can either do that with your thumb if you're lucky or you might use a screwdriver open that up pull the tab out that activates the battery and then this will come off all the way uh, you'll also notice there's a couple of toggle switches down here and by default they are uh, set in the down position at one and two or both in the down position and that's going to give you by default the ding dong sound. If you wanted to change it to the ding sound, then you would move the switch number two to the uh, up position and do the same in the bell unit here. And there are the other two uh, toggles there. They just need to be synchronized. And you can use up to five buttons with this uh, if, if they're placed in various uh, places in your home. So that's about it. Uh, I will let you hear what these sound like. Unfortunately, this does not have a volume control, and I do not think that the volume on this is really going to be adequate for a lot of people. Uh, it's not that loud at all, and you cannot make it louder or softer if you think it's too loud. So uh, basically, you just plug this into the wall. It has to stabilize for 30 seconds before you're supposed to push this button, and then it's good to go. Now, the range on this is supposed to be up to 75 feet. Uh, I found in my house, actually, once, it, once the uh, bell or the button is outside, um, it actually is barely, barely 75 feet. I don't even think it's 50 feet. Uh, because of the thickness of the wall, it loses some of the signal strength. So uh, depending on where you have this located, you may or may not uh, have a working doorbell. But uh, here's what the two sounds sound like. And then by changing the position of switch two to the up position on both the button and the bell, uh, this will now give me just the single chime sound. I don't really like the button and I don't really like the volume of this unit. It can't be made louder and it can't be uh, made less loud if you don't if you think it's too loud. Uh, it's, I don't think you'll think it's too loud however. The button is kind of indecisive. Sometimes when you press it it works and sometimes when you press it it doesn't work. So uh, it's, it's really not a reliable doorbell. Uh, I can't really rate this very highly because of the non-adjustable volume and the fact that if you push the button, if someone's at your door, it may or may not be ringing your doorbell. You may never know that someone's there. So uh, I would probably recommend you look elsewhere. This just does not seem to be that reliable. If you have any questions, leave a comment. I'll answer it if I can. Otherwise, thanks for watching. Have a great day.